Hi friends, it's Tilly, and today we're going to be making a Slinky Dog costume. I'm making this costume for our Run Disney race, so we're going to be running a 5K in it, but you really could change the main base outfit of the look to change how you want it to feel. So if you wanted to wear it for Halloween and wear really cute dresses with it and kind of have more playful aspect to it, you could do that. Or if you're making it for little kids, you could do sweats to have it be more comfortable. That's another option as well. You really can take it in any direction. But then the main pieces we're going to be building today are going to be the hat component, which is going to be his head, as well as the middle slinky and his tail. So let's get started. With the plan in place, I'm next going to start by working on the hat, largely because I got a new Cricut for Christmas and I'm really excited to try it out. So we'll see how this goes. But the plan for the hat is to really be the face of Slinky. So we've gotten this nice brown cap. It does have a logo on it, so I've covered it with the eyeballs. And this is going to be just the template. It's a paper template that we made to check the sizing and placement of everything. So these three inch circles are going to be the white eyeballs. We'll put a pupil in there. And there's a small eyelid that we'll be adding as well. And then we'll put in some eyebrows in there at top top and then a long ear on this side. So what I'm going to be making that out of is craft felt. Craft felt is relatively inexpensive. They come in about nine by 12 sheets or in the bigger sheets that are 12 by 18. And that is what we're going to be using and trying to cut out these shapes today. For the slinky hat pattern, I have the SVG files for Cricut or a PDF paper pattern that you can trace out onto the felt, both in my new shop below. It helps support the channel and I appreciate it. If you're not going to be using the Cricut, you can move forward to this timestamp in order to follow the tutorial after you've cut them out. Starting with the eyeballs and pupils, I will place the craft foam on the fabric grip mat. In the design space, first grab the circle from the shapes menu before resizing it to be 3 inches in diameter. Next, copy and paste it to make a second circle. Then you can hit Make It. Select the On Mat option and the size of your mat. I accidentally cut them out too close to the top and too close together. I would space them out a little bit more for a better cut. Then hit continue. Select the material by searching for felt in the search bar. It's recommended to cut acrylic felt with a rotary cutter, but I don't have one, so I'm going to select craft bonded to use my fine point blade. This can lead to an imperfect cut, but I don't mind. Now I will load the materials and hit go. You can see how the machine didn't like the cutout being so close together and close to the top, but I can use the scissors to do any cleanup. Next, we'll do the same steps with the black felt for the pupils, and we'll make the circles one inch in diameter. The same steps will be repeated for the eyebrows, eyelids, and ears via the uploaded SVG files. I then cleaned up any imperfect cuts. With all my pieces cut out, I can glue them to the hat. I first tried fabric glue, but found that the hot glue worked better for me. Glue the eyelids and pupils to the eyes first. Before gluing the eyes and eyebrows onto the hat. Then glue the top of the ears to the sides of the hat.
for the muzzle, I'm covering the brim in glue and covering it with a tan felt. I will then cut away any excess felt. Last, I cut out and glued on a little nose. And there we have our slinky hat. It's so cute. Great, with the hat all done, we are ready to move on to the slinky middle. There are a few things to consider for materials when it comes to making the slinky middle and the tail. The first that I considered was the slinky itself. I went with a five inch plastic slinky. It does come in a seven inch, but it wasn't going to arrive on time. So five inches is fine. And I cut out 13 of the rings for the middle and three of the rings for the tail for the adult size. I think that it's going to give us enough stretch without bowing too much in the middle when we're standing close together. That's kind of the, the key thing that I looked at. So that is the slinky middle. The second thing to consider is kind of what is going to make the slinky then look like metal. You could use spray paint. I think honestly that'd be the cheaper and easier option reflecting on my choices. But I went ahead and decided to get fabric per usual. I went with this metallic stretchy fabric that I think is going to work well covering the slinky. I'm cutting this out in three inch strips and sewing about an inch and a half of a tube. So each side of the tube is three quarters of an inch. Then I'll just trim away any seam allowance when flipping it inside out to cover it. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Then the last thing I considered were the fasteners. I considered a few things. I wanted to be able to easily have it be removable because if someone falls while we're running or if someone needs to use the bathroom, we need to be able just to quickly get out of there. So I'm going to be using magnets. These are sewing magnets. I will put one end of the magnet into the casing and the other one's going to be a safety pin to the shirt. We're going to safety pin it rather than stitch it because we want to use these shirts afterwards for something that is not slinky. So that is my plan. Alternatively, you could, if you're using fabric, just pin it to the shirt if you're less concerned about speed of getaway, so to speak. Um, or you could use something like snaps that would snap in place and hold it to the shirt itself. Great, and here's the result. I think it's super cute. It's fun and it's fabric and plastic, so it's nice and easy and squishy and you don't have to worry about hurting anybody or hurting yourself. It's just very fun and looks great. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I think the fabric was a really good choice overall just because I think it looks really nice. Then I hand stitched the magnets into the end. So you can see here, there's the magnet right here and that'll just correspond to the person's shirt when you're attaching it. And then it's at both ends of the slinky. So it'll attach just like that and be ready to be used. So that is great. For the tail, I think I'm just going to safety pin it to my pants, um, but the tail also looks nice. I couldn't get it to stretch out very well, so maybe if you use a heat gun or something to stretch it out, I was hoping it would look a little bit more, you know, like this versus like this, but it will bounce as I'm running, so maybe it'll be fine. But I'll go ahead and safety pin that to my pants, and then I also added and hand stitched a little brown felt knob at the end just to mimic the end of his tail as well. So there we have it. Those are the slinky pieces and now we can put it all together. And there we have it, a fun and versatile, easy DIY slinky costume. I think this would be super fun for Halloween and especially would be fun to see this in the parks. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.